Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today as we embark on a fascinating journey through one of the most profound theories in science, general relativity. Imagine a world where the fabric of reality itself bends and stretches, where time slows down and speeds up, and where massive objects like stars and black holes create ripples in the very essence of space. This world exists, and it's all around us. General relativity was developed by the brilliant mind of Albert Einstein in 191 before Einstein. We relied on the laws of gravity put forth by Isaac Newton, which worked well for everyday experiences but fell short when it came to explaining certain cosmic phenomena. Einstein's theory changed everything by describing gravity not as a force, but as a curvature of space-time. Now, let's dive into the incredible story of how this revolutionary theory came to be, the key concepts it introduced, and the stunning discoveries it has led to. Background History To understand general relativity, we need to take a step back in time. In 1687, Isaac Newton formulated his law of universal gravitation. He proposed that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This law was groundbreaking and explained everything from falling apples to the orbits of planets. But by the late 19th century, scientists began noticing anomalies. The most famous of these was the peculiar orbit of Mercury, the innermost planet of our solar system. Mercury's orbit didn't match Newtonian predictions, hinting that there was more to gravity than Newton's equations could explain. Enter Albert Einstein. In 1905, he published his theory of special relativity, which introduced the idea that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers and that the speed of light is constant, no matter the observer's motion. This was a stepping stone towards his more comprehensive theory, general relativity. In 1915, after 10 years of intense work and deep thinking, Einstein presented his theory of general relativity to the world. He proposed that massive objects like the sun curve the space-time around them, and this curvature is what we perceive as gravity. This was a radical departure from Newton's idea of gravity as a force acting at a distance. Key figures like David Hilbert, Carl Schwarzschild, and Arthur Eddington played crucial roles in the development and validation of Einstein's theory. Schwarzschild found the first exact solution to Einstein's field equations, describing the space-time surrounding a spherical mass, leading to the concept of black holes. Eddington's 1919 expedition to observe a solar eclipse confirmed the bending of light predicted by general relativity, catapulting Einstein to worldwide fame. Mathematical Background and Development Now, let's talk about the mathematical foundation of general relativity. Don't worry, we'll keep it simple. At its core, the theory uses a branch of mathematics called tensor calculus, which helps describe the curvature of space-time. Imagine space-time as a stretchy fabric. When you place a heavy object like a ball on this fabric, it creates a dip. Smaller objects placed nearby will roll towards the heavier object, not because they are being pulled by a force, but because they are following the curved path created by the dip. This is the essence of general relativity. Objects move along the curves in space-time created by mass and energy. Einstein's field equations are the mathematical tools that describe this curvature. These equations are complex, but what they essentially say is that matter tells space-time how to curve, and curved space-time tells matter how to move. It's a beautiful interplay between geometry and physics. Developing these equations wasn't easy. In 1907, Einstein first introduced the idea that free-falling objects experience no gravitational force, which he called the equivalence principle. This principle became a cornerstone of his theory. By 1911, Einstein predicted that light from distant stars would bend as it passed near a massive object like the Sun. This was a bold prediction, but it would take years to prove. In 1915, Einstein finally presented the full theory of general relativity. Shortly after, Karl Schwarzschild, serving in the German army during World War I, found an exact solution to Einstein's equations. This solution described the space-time around a spherical, non-rotating mass leading to the concept of what we now call a black hole. Einstein's equations were soon tested. In 1919, during a solar eclipse, Arthur Eddington's expedition observed the bending of starlight by the sun, confirming Einstein's prediction and providing a stunning validation of general relativity. Experimental Observations 
General relativity has been tested and confirmed by numerous experiments over the years. One of the first major confirmations came from Arthur Eddington's 1919 expedition, which observed the bending of starlight during a solar eclipse. This was a pivotal moment for Einstein and for the acceptance of his theory. In 1959, the Pound-Repco experiment at Harvard University confirmed another prediction of general relativity, gravitational redshift. This experiment showed that light loses energy and thus changes color as it climbs out of a gravitational field. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for general relativity came from the Hulse-Taylor binary pulsar, discovered in 197 this system consists of two neutron stars orbiting each other. Their orbits gradually shrink over time due to the emission of gravitational waves, as predicted by Einstein. This indirect evidence for gravitational waves earned Russell Hulse and Joseph Taylor the Nobel Prize in Physics in 199. Then, in 2015, the LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, made a groundbreaking discovery. For the first time, gravitational waves were directly detected. These ripples in space-time, caused by the collision of two black holes, opened a new era of astronomy, allowing us to observe the universe in a completely new way. General relativity also plays a crucial role in our everyday technology. The precise timing of GPS satellites, for instance, must account for the effects of both special and general relativity to provide accurate location data. Without these corrections, our GPS systems would be off by several kilometers. Where general relativity fails. While general relativity has been incredibly successful, it isn't perfect. There are situations where it breaks down, and understanding these limitations is crucial for the future of physics. One significant limitation is the theory's inability to describe what happens inside black holes. At the center of a black hole lies a point of infinite density called a singularity. Here, the curvature of spacetime becomes infinite, and our current understanding of physics fails. Another major challenge is that general relativity doesn't play well with quantum mechanics, the theory that describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Both theories are incredibly successful in their own domains, but they are fundamentally incompatible. This has led physicists to search for a unified theory of quantum gravity that can describe all the forces of nature within a single framework. Efforts to reconcile these two pillars of physics have led to several interesting theories. String theory, for example, suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny, vibrating strings. Another approach, loop quantum gravity, attempts to quantize spacetime itself. Both theories are still in development, and experimental evidence is needed to determine their validity. General relativity also struggles to explain certain cosmic phenomena. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, and dark energy, which accounts for roughly 68%, are both mysterious components that general relativity cannot fully explain. These substances affect the universe's structure and expansion, but their true nature remains one of the biggest questions in modern physics. Despite these challenges, general relativity remains a cornerstone of our understanding of the universe. It has passed every experimental test thrown at it and continues to provide accurate descriptions of gravitational phenomena. The quest to find a theory that unites general relativity and quantum mechanics is one of the most exciting frontiers in science today. Key Concepts Let's dive into some of the key concepts of general relativity to understand its beauty and elegance. First, we have the concept of space-time. Instead of thinking of space and time as separate entities, general relativity combines them into a four-dimensional continuum. Picture space-time as a stretchy fabric. Massive objects like stars and planets create dips and curves in this fabric, and smaller objects move along these curves. This is what we perceive as gravity. Next, there's the equivalence principle. Einstein proposed that the effects of gravity are indistinguishable from the effects of acceleration. Imagine you're in an elevator in space. If the elevator starts accelerating upwards, you would feel a force pushing you to the floor, just as if you were standing on Earth. This principle was a key insight that led Einstein to develop general relativity. The curvature of space-time is another fundamental idea. Mass and energy cause spacetime to curve, and this curvature affects the motion of objects. For example, 
The reason planets orbit the Sun is because they are following the curved paths in space-time created by the Sun's massive presence. One of the most famous predictions of general relativity is the existence of black holes. These are regions of space-time where the curvature becomes so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes were once considered purely theoretical, but we now have strong observational evidence that they exist thanks to phenomena like X-ray emissions from accreting matter and the detection of gravitational waves from black hole mergers. Another fascinating prediction is the existence of gravitational waves. These are ripples in space-time caused by accelerating masses, such as merging black holes or neutron stars. The direct detection of gravitational waves by LIGO in 2015 was a monumental achievement, confirming a key aspect of Einstein's theory and opening up a new way of observing the universe. Gravitational waves provide a new tool for astronomers to explore the cosmos. They allow us to hear events in the universe that are invisible to traditional telescopes, such as the collision of black holes or neutron stars. This has given us unprecedented insights into these extreme events and deepened our understanding of the universe's most energetic processes. Understanding general relativity not only enriches our knowledge of cosmic phenomena, but also influences practical applications. For instance, our global positioning systems, GPS, rely on the principles of both general and special relativity. Satellites orbiting Earth experience less gravitational pull than objects on the ground, and their clocks run faster. To provide accurate location data, the GPS system must account for these relativistic effects. Without these corrections, GPS data would be inaccurate, illustrating how deeply entwined theoretical physics and technology can be. Real-world applications General relativity isn't just a theory confined to textbooks, its implications extend into our daily lives and the technology we use. One of the most practical applications of general relativity is in the Global Positioning System, or GPS. The GPS satellites orbiting the Earth experience a weaker gravitational field compared to those on the Earth's surface. As a result, their clocks run faster than those on the ground. To ensure that GPS remains accurate, these relativistic effects must be taken into account. If the adjustments weren't made, GPS would be off by several kilometers. This is a real-world example of how general relativity affects our daily lives, ensuring that navigation and timing systems work correctly. Beyond GPS, general relativity also impacts our understanding of the universe. For instance, it plays a crucial role in our observations of cosmological phenomena. Observations of gravitational lensing, where light from distant objects is bent around massive objects, confirm the predictions of general relativity and provide insights into the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Another example is the study of black holes. These mysterious objects, predicted by general relativity, have become a major area of research. Observations of black holes, both through their gravitational effects and through their radiation, such as the famous image of the black hole in the galaxy M87, have opened up new areas of astrophysics. These observations test the limits of general relativity and provide clues about the behavior of matter and energy in extreme conditions. Additionally, the theory's predictions about the expansion of the universe have led to important discoveries in cosmology. The observation of the accelerating expansion of the universe, attributed to dark energy, is a phenomenon that general relativity helps explain. This expanding universe model has transformed our understanding of the cosmos and continues to be a key area of research in modern physics. Mathematical Formulation of General Relativity At the heart of general relativity are equations that describe how matter and energy influence the shape of space-time. These equations are complex, but they fundamentally connect the geometry of the universe to the presence of mass and energy. To grasp this, imagine space-time as a flexible, multi-dimensional fabric. This fabric can be stretched and warped by the presence of massive objects, similar to how a heavy ball placed on a rubber sheet causes it to curve. The way this fabric bends and curves is described by something called the metric tensor. This tensor is a mathematical object that provides a way to measure distances and angles in our curved, four-dimensional universe. The metric tensor tells us how space-time is shaped at every point. For instance, it helps us understand how the distance between two points changes when space-time is curved by a massive object. In a flat, uncurved space, 
Measuring distances is straightforward. But in curved spacetime, distances are not as simple to compute, and the metric tensor gives us the tools to handle these complexities. The curvature of spacetime is described by various curvature tensors. One important tensor is the Ricci curvature tensor, which measures how much spacetime is stretched or compressed in different directions. Another related concept is the scalar curvature, which provides a single value representing the overall curvature of spacetime at a specific point. Einstein's equations relate these curvatures to the matter and energy present in the universe. Essentially, these equations state that the way spacetime curves depends on the amount and distribution of matter and energy. If you imagine the fabric of spacetime, the amount of mass and energy changes how this fabric bends. Massive objects like stars and black holes create deep wells in this fabric, while lighter objects create smaller ripples. To give an example, consider the case of a simple spherical mass, like a planet or a star. The equations show how spacetime around such a mass is curved in a predictable way. This solution, known as the Schwarzschild solution, describes the spacetime geometry around a non rotating, spherical object. It allows us to understand phenomena like the orbits of planets and the behavior of light near massive objects. These equations are not only theoretical but have been tested and confirmed through experiments. For example, the bending of light around the Sun during a solar eclipse, as predicted by Einstein, provided early evidence for general relativity. Later, experiments such as those involving the precise timing of clocks in different gravitational fields or the detection of gravitational waves have further confirmed the accuracy of these equations. In summary, the mathematics of general relativity involves describing how spacetime is shaped by mass and energy. The key mathematical objects, like the metric tensor and curvature tensors, help us understand and calculate the effects of this curvature. These equations have been tested rigorously and have shown themselves to be remarkably accurate in describing the behavior of the universe. Future Directions as we look to the future, the quest to deepen our understanding of general relativity and its implications continues. One major direction of research is to find a unified theory that combines general relativity with quantum mechanics. This new theory would provide a comprehensive framework for understanding all the forces of nature, from the smallest particles to the largest cosmic structures. Efforts in theoretical physics, such as string theory and loop quantum gravity, aim to bridge the gap between general relativity and quantum mechanics. String theory proposes that fundamental particles are not point-like, but rather tiny, vibrating strings. Loop quantum gravity attempts to describe the quantum properties of spacetime itself. Both approaches are still in development, and their ultimate validation will depend on future experimental and observational data. Another exciting frontier is the study of gravitational waves. The continued observation of these waves will provide new insights into the universe's most energetic events, such as black hole mergers and neutron star collisions. Advanced detectors and observatories are being developed to improve our ability to detect and analyze these waves, offering the potential for new discoveries. As technology and our understanding of the universe advance, general relativity will undoubtedly remain a cornerstone of modern physics. Its elegant description of gravity and its impact on our view of the cosmos continue to inspire and challenge scientists around the world. Mathematical Formulation of General Relativity At the heart of general relativity are equations that describe how matter and energy influence the shape of spacetime. These equations are complex, but they fundamentally connect the geometry of the universe to the presence of mass and energy. The Metric Tensor the metric tensor is fundamental to understanding how distances and times are measured in curved spacetime. Imagine you're walking on a stretched rubber sheet with different heights. The metric tensor tells you how to measure the distance between two points on this sheet, taking into account its bending and stretching. In more mathematical terms, the metric tensor is a grid that adjusts the usual rules of geometry to fit the curved space. Curvature tensors. To describe how spacetime bends, we use curvature tensors. These are mathematical objects that quantify how spacetime is curved at various points. There are a few key types. Ricci curvature tensor This tensor measures how the volume of a small ball of spacetime changes as it moves through curved space. In simpler terms, it tells us how much the presence of mass and energy compresses or stretches spacetime locally. 
Riemann curvature tensor, this is a more detailed measure that captures how the curvature of space-time varies from point to point. It helps us understand the complex ways in which different parts of space-time influence each other. It describes how a small parallelogram in space-time is distorted when you move it around a small region. Ricci scalar, this is a single number that summarizes the overall curvature of space-time at a specific point, derived from the Ricci curvature tensor. It provides a simpler view of the curvature's effect on the volume and shape of space-time. Einstein's field equations. These equations are the heart of general relativity and link the geometry of space-time to the matter and energy within it. On the left side, the left side of the equations involves the Ricci curvature tensor and the Ricci scalar. These describe the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. On the right side, the right side of the equations features the stress-energy tensor, which describes the distribution and flow of energy and momentum in space-time. This tensor encapsulates how much matter and energy there is and how they are moving. The cosmological constant sometimes included on the right side of the equation. This term accounts for the energy of empty space or vacuum energy. It was originally introduced to allow for a static universe and later associated with dark energy. Solutions to Einstein's equations. Different solutions to Einstein's equations describe different aspects of the universe. Schwarzschild solution this describes the space-time around a spherical, non-rotating mass. It shows how the curvature of space-time around such an object creates phenomena like the gravitational pull that causes planets to orbit stars and the formation of black holes. Kerr solution this describes the space-time around a rotating mass. It is more complex than the Schwarzschild solution and helps explain the behavior of rotating black holes. Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker, FLRW, metric this describes an expanding or contracting universe. It is used in cosmology to model the large scale structure and evolution of the universe, including the Big Bang and the expansion of space. Testing the theory General relativity has been tested in various ways and these tests often involve calculations using the mathematical framework of the theory. Gravitational lensing the bending of light around massive objects is predicted by general relativity. By measuring the amount of bending, we can verify the theory's predictions. Perihelion precession the slight shift in the orbit of Mercury, which couldn't be fully explained by Newtonian mechanics, is accurately predicted by general relativity. Gravitational waves the ripples in space-time caused by massive accelerating objects, predicted by general relativity, were directly detected by LIGO, confirming the theory's predictions about how space-time can be disturbed by such events. Challenges and Future Directions While general relativity has been incredibly successful, it faces challenges, particularly in combining with quantum mechanics. The search for a theory of quantum gravity that can describe space-time at the smallest scales continues involving complex mathematics and new theoretical frameworks. In summary, the mathematics of general relativity involves describing a dynamic, curved space-time using tensors that capture curvature and distortions. These mathematical tools enable us to understand and predict how matter and energy influence the fabric of the universe, with profound implications for both theoretical and observational physics. Understanding the Mathematics of General Relativity Imagine space-time as a four-dimensional fabric that stretches and bends in response to the objects within it. To understand how this fabric behaves, we use some key mathematical ideas. Let's break them down into simpler terms. The metric tensor. Think of the metric tensor as a map of this stretchy fabric. Just like a map tells you how to measure distances on Earth, the metric tensor tells you how to measure distances and times in our curved space-time. On a flat surface, Measuring distances is straightforward, but on our curved fabric of space-time, things get a bit more complicated. The metric tensor helps us figure out how much the fabric is stretched or compressed at different points. Curvature tensors. Now, to understand how the fabric bends, we use curvature tensors. Here's an analogy. Imagine you have a rubber sheet. If you place a heavy ball in the middle, the sheet bends around the ball. The way this bending happens depends on the shape of the ball and its weight. Similarly, curvature tensors measure how space-time bends around massive objects like stars and planets. Ricci curvature tensor This tensor tells us how much the fabric is stretched or compressed in a specific region. It's like measuring how much the rubber sheet is pulled in different directions when you press down with a weight. 
Riemann curvature tensor, this is a more detailed measurement. It captures how the bending of the fabric changes as you move around. Imagine if you could look at how the rubber sheet's bend changes as you move the weight around. It gives you a complete picture of how the sheet is being warped. Ricci scalar, this is a single number that gives us a summary of the fabric's overall curvature at a point. It's like taking a snapshot of how much the rubber sheet is curved in one specific spot. Einstein's field equations. These equations are like the rules of how the fabric of space-time responds to objects placed on it. They show us how the presence of matter and energy changes the fabric's shape. Left side of the equations, this part tells us about the curvature of space-time, describing how the fabric is warped by mass and energy. Right side of the equations, this part describes the matter and energy that are causing the curvature. It's like saying, here's what's on the rubber sheet. Here's how it's making the sheet bend. Cosmological constant sometimes included. This term accounts for the energy of empty space itself. It's like a baseline bend in the fabric that's always there, even when no objects are present. Solutions to Einstein's equations. Different solutions to these equations describe different scenarios. Schwarzschild solution this describes the fabric of space-time around a stationary, spherical object like a planet or a star. It helps us understand how planets orbit stars and how black holes form. Kerr solution this describes the fabric around a rotating object, such as a spinning black hole. It's more complex and helps explain how rotating objects affect space-time. FLRW metric this describes an expanding universe. It helps us model how the universe has grown and evolved over time, from the Big Bang to its current state. Testing the theory. We test general relativity in various ways. Gravitational lensing when light from distant stars bends around massive objects, it confirms our understanding of how space-time is warped. Perihelion precession the slight shift in Mercury's orbit matches predictions from general relativity, showing that the theory accurately describes gravitational effects. Gravitational waves the detection of ripples in space-time from colliding black holes provides direct evidence of the theory's predictions. Challenges and future directions. While general relativity has been incredibly successful, integrating it with quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of very small particles, remains a challenge. Researchers are exploring new theories to bridge this gap and deepen our understanding of the universe. In essence, General relativity uses sophisticated mathematics to describe how a stretchy, four-dimensional fabric of space-time is shaped by the mass and energy within it. This framework has profoundly expanded our understanding of the universe and continues to inspire new discoveries. Understanding the metric tensor. What is the metric tensor? The metric tensor measures distances and angles in curved spaces or space-times. It adjusts the standard rules of geometry for spaces that are not flat, providing a way to understand how distances and angles are distorted by curvature. Analogy, the map of a curved surface. Understanding the metric tensor. What is the metric tensor? The metric tensor measures distances and angles in curved spaces or space-times. It adjusts the standard rules of geometry for spaces that are not flat, providing a way to understand how distances and angles are distorted by curvature. Analogy, the map of a curved surface. Consider a map of a city. It helps you measure distances on the curved surface of the Earth. Similarly, the metric tensor acts as a map for any curved space or spacetime, translating the curve reality into a set of coordinates for calculations. How does it work? In flat space, measuring distances is straightforward. The metric tensor simplifies to the usual Euclidean geometry. In curved spaces, like the surface of a sphere, it adjusts for curvature, allowing accurate distance and angle measurements. In flat space distances are measured using familiar geometry. The metric tensor is simple, reflecting the flat nature of the space. In curved space the metric tensor accounts for curvature. For example, the distance between two points on a sphere differs from a flat map due to the sphere's curvature. Components of the metric tensor the metric tensor is represented as a matrix. Diagonal elements indicate how distances stretch in different directions. On a globe, distances between points change with latitude. Off-diagonal elements show how different directions interact. Curved surfaces like spheres have relationships between different directions that the metric tensor captures. Example, the surface of a sphere. 
On a sphere like Earth, the metric tensor shows how distances change due to curvature. Equator versus Poles distances between two points along the equator are different from those along lines of longitude near the poles because of the sphere's curvature. In general relativity In general relativity, the metric tensor describes how spacetime is curved by mass and energy. Spacetime fabric it details how spacetime bends around massive objects, affecting the paths of objects and light. Gravitational effects the curvature of spacetime, described by the metric tensor, results in what we perceive as gravity. Visualizing the metric tensor. Imagine the metric tensor as defining a flexible grid over spacetime. This grid adjusts distances and angles based on how it's warped by mass and energy. Practical uses. In practice, the metric tensor is used to calculate. Orbits of planets describes how planets move around stars in curved spacetime. Light paths explains how light bends around massive objects, known as gravitational lensing. Summary. The metric tensor is essential for understanding curved spaces and spacetimes. It provides a way to measure distances and angles where traditional flat geometry doesn't apply, adapting our measurements to the curvature of the space. Understanding the Ricci tensor. What is the Ricci tensor? The Ricci tensor is a mathematical object used in the field of general relativity to describe how much and in what way spacetime is curved. Specifically, it focuses on how the curvature of spacetime affects the volume of small regions as you move through them. How it relates to curvature. To understand the Ricci tensor, it helps to know that curvature in general relativity can be thought of in two ways. Local curvature, how much a small region of spacetime is curved. Global curvature, how the entire spacetime is curved overall. The Ricci tensor captures local curvature effects by summarizing how spacetime curves in small regions around a point. Mathematical description. Mathematically, the Ricci tensor is derived from the Riemann curvature tensor, which describes all aspects of curvature. The Ricci tensor is a simplified version that provides a more manageable way to understand curvature in practical scenarios. Riemann curvature tensor provides a full description of curvature, considering how the space bends in every possible direction. Ricci tensor derived from the Riemann tensor by averaging out certain aspects, focusing on how volumes are affected by curvature. Components of the Ricci tensor. The Ricci tensor is represented as a matrix, with each component giving information about how curvature affects volumes in different directions. Diagonal elements show how the curvature changes in specific directions. For example, if the curvature is greater in one direction, this will be reflected in the diagonal elements of the Ricci tensor. Off-diagonal elements indicate how the curvature is related between different directions. These elements help describe the interaction between different directions of curvature. Physical interpretation. In physical terms, the Ricci tensor describes how much spacetime is contracted or expanded in a small region. If the Ricci tensor is zero, it means the local volume of spacetime is not significantly affected by curvature. If it's not zero, it indicates that the curvature affects volumes in that region. Positive Ricci tensor indicates that spacetime is contracted in that region, which can be associated with gravitational sources. Negative Ricci tensor indicates that spacetime is expanded in that region, which can be related to regions of lower density or vacuum. In general relativity, in Einstein's field equations, the Ricci tensor is a crucial part of understanding how matter and energy influence spacetime. Einstein's field equations relate the Ricci tensor and its trace, the Ricci scalar, to the distribution of matter and energy in spacetime. Einstein tensor combines the Ricci tensor and the metric tensor to form a complete description of how spacetime curvature is influenced by matter and energy. Visualizing the Ricci tensor. Imagine spacetime as a flexible rubber sheet. The Ricci tensor tells us how this sheet is stretched or compressed locally. If you place an object on the sheet, it will create local distortions. The Ricci tensor captures these distortions in terms of how much the local volume of the sheet changes. Practical examples. Black holes the Ricci tensor helps describe the curvature around black holes, where spacetime is significantly warped. Cosmology in cosmology, the Ricci tensor helps model the large-scale structure of the universe, including how it expands or contracts. Summary. The Ricci tensor is a vital tool in general relativity for understanding how spacetime is curved in a localized manner. 
It simplifies the complex curvature described by the Riemann tensor, focusing on how curvature affects volumes and thus plays a key role in relating space-time geometry to the distribution of matter and energy. Consider a map of a city. It helps you measure distances on the curved surface of the Earth. Similarly, the metric tensor acts as a map for any curved space or space-time, translating the curve reality into a set of coordinates for calculations. How does it work? In flat space, measuring distances is straightforward. The metric tensor simplifies to the usual Euclidean geometry. In curved spaces, like the surface of a sphere, it adjusts for curvature, allowing accurate distance and angle measurements. In flat space distances are measured using familiar geometry. The metric tensor is simple, reflecting the flat nature of the space. In curved space, the metric tensor accounts for curvature. For example, the distance between two points on a sphere differs from a flat map due to the sphere's curvature. Components of the metric tensor. The metric tensor is represented as a matrix. Diagonal elements indicate how distances stretch in different directions. On a globe, distances between points change with latitude. Off-diagonal elements show how different directions interact. Curved surfaces like spheres have relationships between different directions that the metric tensor captures. Example, the surface of a sphere. On a sphere like Earth, the metric tensor shows how distances change due to curvature. Equator versus. Poles distances between two points along the equator are different from those along lines of longitude near the poles because of the sphere's curvature. In general relativity. In general relativity, the metric tensor describes how spacetime is curved by mass and energy. Spacetime fabric it details how spacetime bends around massive objects, affecting the paths of objects and light. Gravitational affects the curvature of spacetime, described by the metric tensor, results in what we perceive as gravity. Visualizing the metric tensor. Imagine the metric tensor as defining a flexible grid over spacetime. This grid adjusts distances and angles based on how it's warped by mass and energy. Practical uses. In practice, the metric tensor is used to calculate. Orbits of planets describes how planets move around stars in curved spacetime. Light paths explains how light bends around massive objects, known as gravitational lensing. Summary. The metric tensor is essential for understanding curved spaces and spacetimes. It provides a way to measure distances and angles where traditional flat geometry doesn't apply, adapting our measurements to the curvature of the space. Understanding Einstein's field equations. What are Einstein's field equations? Einstein's field equations describe how matter and energy influence the curvature of spacetime. They show how the presence of mass and energy affects the geometry of spacetime, which we perceive as gravity. The general form. The field equations are. Einstein tensor, G, represents the curvature of spacetime. Stress energy tensor, T, represents the distribution of matter and energy. Gravitational constant, G, a constant that measures the strength of gravity. Speed of light, C, a constant that measures the speed at which light travels. The relationship between these is given by Einstein's field equations, which connect the curvature of spacetime with the distribution of mass and energy. The Einstein tensor. The Einstein tensor combines. Ricci tensor, R, measures local curvature, focusing on how small volumes are affected by curvature. Ricci scalar, R, a single value derived from the Ricci tensor that represents the overall curvature of spacetime. Metric tensor, G, describes the geometric properties of spacetime. The stress energy tensor. The stress energy tensor describes. Energy density, how much energy is present per unit volume. Momentum density, how momentum is distributed in spacetime. Pressure and stress, how pressure and stress affect spacetime curvature. Interpretation. The curvature of spacetime at a point is related to the amount and type of energy and momentum present at that point. More matter or energy leads to more curvature, resulting in a stronger gravitational field. Solutions to the equations. Different solutions describe different gravitational phenomena. Schwarzschild solution describes the spacetime around a non rotating, spherically symmetric mass. Kerr solution describes the spacetime around a rotating black hole. Friedman equations describe the expansion of the universe in cosmology.
Applications Black holes predict the properties and existence of black holes. Cosmology explain the large-scale structure and evolution of the universe. Gravitational waves predict the ripples in space-time caused by accelerating masses. Summary Einstein's field equations are fundamental to understanding gravity. They link the distribution of matter and energy with the curvature of space-time, providing a comprehensive framework for understanding gravitational effects in various conditions. Closing note Understanding Einstein's field equations and the principles of general relativity offers profound insights into the nature of gravity and the universe. These equations not only reshape our view of space and time, but also provide the foundation for modern cosmology and astrophysics. By exploring how matter and energy influence the curvature of space-time, we gain a deeper appreciation of the cosmic phenomena that shape our universe. Thank you for joining this journey into the heart of general relativity. We hope this exploration has illuminated the complex yet fascinating world of gravitational physics and inspired further curiosity and study in the realm of modern science.